Hey, what is up everyone? This is X Paco and today I'm coming to you with a video that I never thought I'd be making to be honest and I'm super excited to be making this for something very simplistic but I got so excited to see it in stores and I just wanted to share it with you guys. This is SD Toys Super Robots Knockoff Ultra Magnus. Now you're probably wondering what's so special about this toy. This is actually a knockoff of the Kabaya Transformers Ultra Magnus toy that was well basically a, a gum toy that was released in Japan so the reason I'm super excited for this is because I actually saw this in stores and oh by the way here's the packaging uh, let me put it off here on the side this is the front of the packaging and this is the back of the packaging so I saw th this I saw this toy just as I was in the middle of doing research for uh, a video that you guys are probably going to love if you're an Ultra Magnus fan. And yeah, uh, it's a part of that video was talking about the Kabaya Ultra Magnus, which I don't have. I don't have the Kabaya Ultra Magnus. So for me to see this right when I was just thinking about how, oh, you know, it's sad that I don't have the Kabaya Ultra Magnus. <laughs> That's pretty pretty dope for me, <laughs> considering. Now, it's not 100% accurate to the Gabaya Ultra, Ultra Magnus. It's a bit of a, a retool, and a I'll talk about what um, are noticeably different with the Kabaya Ultra Magnus in a bit. But essentially, this is what he looks like. So as you can see here, it's an Ultra Magnus figure, and it's uh, <laughs> some of the connections are a bit tight here. Let me just does have quite a bit of articulation make no mistake this this figure is cheap as hell <laughs> so i'm not i'm not saying this is high quality or anything i mean the colors are off completely yeah okay um and the, the quality of the plastic is pretty cheap but the mold is mostly as far as i can tell kept from the original with some differences so Let's talk about the articulation real quick. So articulation wise for the robot mode at least you've got head articulation here. So yeah, 180 spin on the head and you've got, you know, up and down motion on the arms as well. And yet yeah, you can kind of, ex you know, move the arms like that. But there, it's not because of there's a joint here. It's just that it's uh, there's um, friction grip on the inside of that part to allow it to connect these pillar arms of his and you've got elbow movement here you've got ball joint on the hips and this is not a knee joint by the way you know um, you can move the toe and but the entire leg will really just go with the toe if you try to move it so that's basically what you get for articulation as you can see this is literally palm sized <laughs> so you know just to compare it with legion class ultra magnus here he is so yeah it's 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 a pretty pretty small figure it's nothing uh, to write home about in terms of size but like i said i'm excited for it because i don't have this figure and here's the other Ultra Magnus from R.I.D. This is the Super Changer Ultra Magnus. So you have kind of an idea how big he is. Now another thing that I wanted to mention is that he differs in a major way from the Kabaya Ultra Magnus in that the missiles are stuck up top. I'm still considering whether to remove those missiles i probably will end up removing those missiles and you know um, do something to um, attach them to these sides like maybe uh, install a peg on here and then put it put this missile here and put a hole here and put the missile here probably that's that's what i'm thinking i'm going to be doing because the kabaya one can do that <clears throat> this one cannot but it's pretty pretty cool like i mean it he's def the mold is there right i mean you can tell that's ultra magnus if i just went black and white on this let's try okay there see that's ultra magnus right there 
Okay, so yeah, um, now in terms of transformation, this is this actually has a really interesting transformation because uh, essentially you just transform him like your typical Ultra Magnus figure. You put these legs together like so. There's a little peg here that inserts into the hole here on the side. Go ahead and do that. And then move these forward <clears throat> and then now off the when i got these off like what out of the box out of the card rather this was flipped the other way but you can just flip it the correct way no problem uh you just need to turn this part here but before you do that you might want to remove this so there's a bit of parts forming involved remove this peg here put it here and then you can s slide this part and do the same here just remove this forgot to do that <clears throat> And then these peg holes, just match them up with the pegs here on the sides. There you go. You can already kind of see where this is going. And you can move the cap section up here. And there you have Ultra Magnus in his car carrier mode now i don't have the mini bots to you know to show you how this would work but as you can see there's clearly enough space for you to put small cars in there probably your micro machines transformers will work well with this it's a legion class toy here's how he scales with some other legion class Ultra Magnuses. This one's a particularly small one. These are from the same year, but this one's a bit smaller in scale. So there you go. Yeah, that works really nicely. Another thing that I wanted to show you guys, really cool, um, especially if you want to customize this, because I definitely will. Will I'm not keeping this in its green and gray state. Is I'm probably gonna end up removing this bit and painting it blue and as you can see that's you know the sled part of the original g1 ultra magnus transforming him back is super easy just push these legs back separate these parts the yeah the, those pop those things can pop off no problem uh, if you want to have him look a little more like the G1 or Titanium toy where his arms are here off to the side, you can do that too. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can. So let me show you what it looks like if you do that. So I'm thinking of picking up a few more of these because they're just, you know, they're cheap. They're crazy cheap. They're less than... Uh, probably one probably 175 a piece in US dollars so yeah that's what it'll look like if you want him to look a little more like the titanium ultra Magnus but of course like I said this toy does you the benefit of allowing you to move his arms up forward so he looks a little more regular there you go so that's ultra magnus right there i'm very 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 happy with this figure considering it's a knockoff why is that because we don't really get a lot of knockoff ultra magnuses these days so whenever i see one i just kind of flip out especially something you know as rare as this where i'm from so I, as people keep telling me kabaya isn't rare everywhere yeah okay but where i'm from it is pretty rare so this is again 
a comparison of the two Ultra Magnuses. I'm very, very much happy with how these guys look together, how they scale together. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys some other like uh, reviews of other figures that are from the series, from the SD Toys Super Robot series, once I get around to it. Anyway, so yeah, I also wanted to thank my boyfriend, Pepot, for creating my intro, <laughs> which I really love. Um, so he animated that for me. I wanted to kind of show a few of the uh, toy uh, worlds that I like to delve into every now and then in this channel. So yeah, he did all the animation for the new Axis Toy Universe uh, channel art. Well, follow me on X underscore Paco or the underscore Art of X if you want to see my artwork. And of course, like and subscribe for more videos on Ultra Magnus and all things toys. Till next time, peace out.